my now father of my children. Of course, now he's just like, no way. I'm not gonna let this, you know, I'm not gonna let her live, live in Africa mm. anymore. You know, she almost died, mm. right? So he's decided he wants me to come to Europe. At that time, you're just dating. Mm, we're small. Imagine. <laughs> By this time, Don Mefika says what? 18, 17, okay, 18. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, the parents are like, hey? His parents are like, Unaltak, why do you want to bring somebody's child here? What are you going to do? You don't have a job. You're a teenager yourself. We're both teenagers. Mm. You know, he's like, I don't care. Mm? I don't care. I just want her to come. I want, I want her to be with me, you know. I want to protect her, you know, and all these kind of things. So him, he had decided a partner. Mm. She just wants me to, you know, to come mm. and live with him in Europe where I'm going to be safe. So he, him, he came into the mix like, we started processing now visas are in Sweden. Of course, my foster parents are, are Swedish. Mm. They, they ha, now at this point, they have moved back to Sweden, mm. which was okay for me to and go there, to Sweden. It's their son who's, who's passed Who's on. been passed, mm. yeah, who's been shot. Um, so anyways, we start processing the, nini, the visa, and then we put on hold the athletics one. Why? Because also I was, I was traumatized. Yes, yes. I needed him as well, mm, right? Mm, I mm. needed him because I was going through trauma. Then while I was um, while I was um, uh, while I was in that um, state now with everything that was going on, um, there was a mis tourism thing, right? So the people I was living with told me, why don't you sign up for this mis tourism thing just to pass time, you know? Mm. Right now while you're waiting for your visas, you know, for your visas to happen yeah. while you're doing your you know your therapy, you know, and so on. Um, why don't you just do mysterism to get your mind off also the trauma that you've just come from, right? Mm. So, like I said, I at that point, see, I had already been looked at like, ooh, you mm. look beautiful, mm. right? So at that point, I had some kidogo confidence mm. about the way entering, I looked, yes. entering into mysterism. And working Alec Weka uh, also, um, although that time not yet. No, not okay. really. Okay. Not really. Sort of. Okay. You know, but it hadn't re it hadn't really hit home yet. Okay. Right. So I was just like I had already been seen at a certain way, and and why not, right? But already I've been I had been a brief that all the girls that win are light skinned. Mm, mm, mm? Mm, mm, Every mm. single girl that wins is always light skinned. So you have no chance. I was like, ah, let me just go for fun. You know, I don't have anything to do. Um, if it you is know, processing. Yeah, I'm still trying to process my 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 uh, my trauma. You know, I met some nice girls, made some really good friends, you know, trained as a model, you know, with nice music. I mean, it was just fun, a fun thing to do. I did that. I eventually did a competition. Hey, see, people cheered for me that night. It was at Carnival. Mm. Everybody, like, cheered for me. I don't know why Kenyans did that. <laughs> You know, because I wasn't that. Didn't and why, was there others who were as dark skin as you? Mm -hmm. I was the darkest, obviously, mm -hmm. the tallest. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what got into Kenyans, but Kenyans really cheered for me that night. I remember in Carnival. I think everybody can tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, Paka, I um, they had to make me number three, whether they liked it or not. What? I didn't win because they can't make me win. Yes, because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, they're, within they're not, their... They're, they're not the, the part of their plan. No, I'm not. <laughs> but because Kenyans cheered for me so much, they had to make me number three. Can you imagine? Otherwise, I would have been number last if it wasn't like for that um, thing. What? Saka, uh, somebody just shouted, Ah, Yashinda, I'm going to get drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said, Ah, no, they were like, Boo, you know, because I didn't, they yeah. made me number three. They started booing. Ah, we're going to get drunk. We're going to get drunk. <laughs> Because they're really like, you know, because I spoke well, I walked well. I think they've never seen a confident black girl, mm. dark skinned girl mm. like that. Because, of course, I had that foundation mm. from, you know, all the things I've told you about since my childhood. Those crazy things. Mm. Yeah. I had that. Um, I had that. I was rooted, first of all. Yeah in my um, culture, my community. Very, hey, very. I, I, was, I was rooted. I was, um, I had um, confidence, of course, from, from um, 
what did I tell you in the beginning? Just from all, the, all that you've been through. Um, there was that certain thing that I mentioned. Uh, yeah, from I had confidence from the sports. You know, I had... Um, yeah, no, just whatever it is, the, ad the adversity I went through made me stronger. Mm. I had uh, built my confidence, of course, plus I had that thing. That look was still there with me mm. from those American people. Mm, mm. It still stayed with me. Mm. So I was just walking there like, that was the only thing I was thinking about. Those guys who saw me in, oh, you know. Mm, mm, <laughs> so mm. I was just, I guess I was just exuding that. Mm. And, hey, people just felt my energy. They just felt that and cheered for me and wanted me to win. So I became number three. Okay, sawa. <laughs> <laughs> I just went and continued on with my life. Now, see, my visas have no need. What did have. that number three do for you? It was just like, yeah. Yeah. Was it like... Oh, it got me on the newspaper. No, no, but, but I forget uh, even... Okay, oh, no, no, no. Externally huge. Mm. Externally it's huge. Newspaper yeah. because... I'm sure that's not a face people had seen yeah. or a color mm -hmm. people had seen or a height or whatever yeah, it may yeah, be yeah. Mm. that people had seen as somebody who they thought should have been in the top three. Mm. Remember, until today, in this interview, you're still breaking stereotypes of what right. people think a model should be or beauty should be. Mm. So I can imagine you winning it then. What did it do first and foremost for you? For me, there was no girl from Trocana that had ever done that. There is it it broke it broke the boundaries of Trocana's being savage, Ooh. poor, not beautiful, mm. just some nomadic tribe in the middle of nowhere. It broke that narrative, which was very huge for me, especially for my culture, first of mm. all, because I'm, hey, I'm so rooted, it's crazy. Yeah. So that was <laughs> one fundamental thing that, you know, I can say. And then after that, um, yeah, I started seeing myself in a different light, where I was walking around as this beauty queen. Mm. You know, all of a sudden I'm this beauty queen, where, you know, people are actually starting to, you know, see what I'm, what I was processing now, which was coming to light to me. You know, remember when I was looking into the mirror, pole yep. pole, mm. I could see now people are starting to go through that process with me as well. Mm. You know, mm. you know, just discovering beautiful things about me, my physical um, being. Yeah. So that, hey, that you're such a good storyteller. <laughs> I've that, been on my seat, edge of my seat the whole time. I'm like, that was there as well. Yeah. And then, and then, and then what? My smile became bigger, mm. I can say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, seeing myself on the newspaper with these two other queens sitting there like this. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing. It was so, so beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it was really, really great. It was a great feeling. Even though I was number three, mm. um, you know, I felt like I didn't deserve to be number one. Even, though, you know, af even after all that, mm. after all that growth, I still felt I didn't deserve to be number one because bad or true, a standard of beauty, mm. you know, that they still, uh, uh, yeah, they yeah. still that standard of beauty. Even though I've grown my, I've grown within myself. Still, I didn't. Number feel three like, is good enough. Yeah, good. Number three is good enough from mm. where I've come from. Mm. Hey, number three is good. <laughs> <laughs> so you know i appreciated that number three um so well, then i was on the newspaper there now see now i'm processing my you know with the, the visa yeah with my yeah, yeah with my children's father so now it's come through um all of a sudden i've been spotted by a nini ford agent ford then was the biggest agency in the world right a Ford agent sent from New York, like they, they, she was already, it's Lindsay McIntyre. She was actually situated in Kenya, but it was with communications from New York. What? Yeah, Yakua, we won this girl. That she spotted me, showed my picture to Ford. Ford was like, eh, we won that girl. You know, find her. <laughs> Hold up, we'll be back. 